Hey, thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. Unfortunately, I kind of have some bad news to share with you guys about this channel. Um, it's not terrible, but I think you guys ought to know because some of you are going to wonder what's going on. I'll tell you all about that here in a second. All right, I'm just going to kind of get into it here. Things are going to change on this channel a little bit. And part of the reason is you may not see as many videos coming out here in the near future for a while. It's probably going to be two or three months while you see this happening. There's several reasons for that. There's health reasons and living conditions and so on. So let me get into that here. The worst news we got was today. All this work I've been doing to try and build this studio and all, well, it's all for nothing. Because we are renting, and I'll tell you that basic story why we're renting. I don't want to be renting, but we are. And now we just found out we've got to move in 45 days from today. So that's the end of October. We've got to move. And we've got a lot to move. And with my health issues, and my wife's health issues, this is gonna be really difficult on us. I'm not sure how we're even gonna pull it off, honestly. And that's going to take away from my time to be able to put out videos and content for you guys. Now, luckily I do have some videos already shot, but I owe a few people some videos, like I've got this really cool laser tape measure to show you guys. I've got a rewashable air filter for your furnace that I need to show you guys. I'm going to try and get a few videos out in the next couple weeks and maybe I can schedule them out over time so you might not notice too much but there's more going on besides that. For starters our moves are difficult. My wife is disabled. She's had three knee replacements and she only has two. I don't know where they put the other knee. Hey you got to have a little humor here. No, one knee was faulty. She had to have it replaced twice so she's fully disabled. She can barely walk much and she certainly can't help me do all this packing in and out of stuff so another thing she can't do is have stairs so we got to find houses that have single story you know rancher style homes for her to be able to fit in on top of that we have cats now between those two right there that narrows our possibilities down dramatically when we're looking to rent but our goal was we had these plans that next summer, sometime next summer, like late next summer, we were going to be looking for a house to buy. And this was going to be our final time because honestly, we've had to move like eight or nine times since we've been together and we've only been together 12 years. Now, to make that story short as to why we've had to move so much, well, it started out that I... I had a house down the road here, 90 miles down the road, and it's you can see a picture of it here. This is a picture that I got off of Google. I didn't have any pictures I could find. And I had this pretty cool house with an eight car garage. It was 2,100 square foot, finished inside, skip trowel, bull nose, painted floors. It was a really nice shop. It was heated, had a half bath and everything. Well, my dad started having health issues down here where I'm at 90 miles down the road. So I sold my house and came down here to help him out. And then he and I, we were going to buy 20 acres down the road here in Colorado and split that up. And I was going to get five acres in the house that I was staying in and a 1,200 square foot shop. It was going to be a nice little setup. Well, before we could get it all split up, he passed away. So that, of course, left me hanging. Um, it was still in his name, and when it's in his name, there was nothing I could do. And I had invested at least 15000 in upgrades, like the shop did have gravel floors in most of it, and it wasn't really finished. It was a pole barn. I poured uh, concrete in it, put a half bath in it, lighting, drywall, electrical. It was turning into a really nice shop, and then that happened, and we had to give all that up. 
So we moved and the next place we moved to was on four and a half acres. We had a nice 40,000 gallon in-ground pool. It was a pretty nice little setup and that one got foreclosed, but we were just renting. So off we go again. So it's just been a series of crap like that. Well, this time what happened is the homeowners, they're getting older. They decided to sell it. They hadn't given us any notice that they were gonna do this. They just called us or contacted us this morning and said, you've got 45 days to get out. We sold the house this morning. So we don't have much choice. So I'm gonna be undoing all of the studio. Therefore, I'm not gonna have a good place to do a shoot this. Now I might be able to shoot an occasional one on a job site, but I don't work very much these days because of health issues. That's another big issue. Now, some of you know a little bit of the history. I've shared a little bit on here, but I haven't actually shared it all. So I will start with, <laughs> I've just had a, two bad years of health. Um, I've struggled with a number of things and it's made it really hard for me to go out in the field and work. I just turned 59 recently. I'm not that old. I was in good health before this and it seems that a number of things seem to have snuck up on me over the last couple of years. So I'll just go over a short list of what's going on. I don't want to bore you guys. But some of you know that two years ago I got hit with vertigo. I was hospitalized for four days and it wasn't just your ordinary vertigo that you get over quickly. I had a virus in my inner ear. They determined that through some testing and they figured that I had 40% nerve damage in my right inner ear. Well, that screws up your balance pretty bad. So I sold all my scaffolding because I didn't dare climb it. I was afraid to climb ladders. I would fall off of ladders. So it took me about a year for my brain to basically readapt. They have you doing all these physical therapy exercises where it just confuses the heck out of your brain. You walk along and look at your thumb while you're turning your head and all this stuff that makes you dizzy, nauseous, but it's retraining your brain. Well, I felt like after about a year and a half, I was making progress on that and I felt like I could get back to work. So I actually could climb some ladders if I just paid attention and held on and was getting some of my energy back. It was zapping a lot of my energy due partly to the uh, confusion your brain has of one side telling it one thing and one telling it the other. So anyway, we were making progress on that. And then last March, I got another virus and I got hospitalized for four days with a high fever, the extreme body aches, the chills, the uh, food tasted terrible, so I lost about 12 pounds in a week and a half. I basically had all the signs of COVID. They tested me, it came back uh, negative. They think I might've had a false negative, but the main thing is we thought, you know, uh, in a month or so, I would be back on my feet again. Well. Here it is almost six months later, and I am still extremely fatigued. I literally can only work three to four hours a day on average, occasionally five, and I'm just so wiped out all the time. So we're looking at a number of things. Uh, my naturopath, a uh, functional medicine doctor, he thinks I might have been floxed, which is a result of having Cipro, uh, the antibiotic Cipro uh, fluoxin, I think it is. And that's a possibility because in January I got a biopsy because another one of my health issues is I have prostate cancer. You know, cancer is usually that really scary word and it's certainly not unscary to me. It's not something to ignore. But here's a story on that. Almost three years ago I got... Um, some test results were indicating I needed a biopsy. They did that and found out I had uh, like, I think it was one or two sections out of 12 that tested for cancer. They said that was a low risk. Prostate cancer is usually slow growing. So we could do the wait and watch monitoring where we just kept an eye on the PSA levels, watched it and it started climbing. So we decided we needed to do another biopsy. Well, this time it came back with four out of 12. And um, it's a little higher risk now. So it, it's kind of hard to talk about it, <laughs> you know, the cancer word. 
So it's spreading a little bit, so now I really don't have any choice. I need to do radiation. They think I can do without the chemo, but I'm probably going to have to do um, testosterone blocking, where they do these blockers that pretty much drive your testosterone to nothing. So they said I will probably feel even weaker. And here I'm dealing with extreme weakness right now. So I've been delaying it. I found out about this in January and I've been delaying it, trying to get my finances in order. And we've been making some good progress. And then this moving thing hit. And as you know, if you've moved with a full household, it's gonna cost us thousands of dollars to move. So we're gonna kind of go backwards a little bit. But I plan on trying to do, I was planning on trying to do the radiation like in early January. Now with the forced move, unpacking and all that, I'm not sure how that's going to change things, but we'll deal with it. So for those that wonder, I am doing all I can uh, health-wise. I'm eating as healthy as I can. I drink all these nutritious smoothies. I'm trying to eat organic and um, grass-fed beef and I've cut out sodas. I've just really have tried to be as healthy as I can and it's just kicking my butt. Something is. So I struggle to even put out the videos you've seen. I could put out a lot more videos, but I'm doing these videos that you guys have been seeing and that's with me working full time from home. I literally took a month off recently. I only work about one to two days a week and only three to four hours a day. So I'm mostly at home and I still can only put out the few videos you've seen. And they're not really the ones I want to put out. Like I put out the one about the smoke filter on our swamp cooler. Well, that was because we needed it done anyway. So I went ahead and did that. So I call those videos of opportunity, but I want to put out videos of purpose where I have a plan. I have things I want to show you guys and teach you, but sometimes I've got to do what I do got to do to get a video out for you guys and keep the channel growing because it is growing really nicely we have gained a lot we're almost at 50,000 subscribers I was really happy with the way things were going considering the health issues because if I was healthier I'm quite confident I could make this channel grow much faster but sometimes you just got to deal with what you've got to deal with so another side effect of this whole uh, virus thing and fatigue is extreme brain fog. I'm normally a pretty sharp guy. I graduated with honors from my electronic warfare uh, school in the military, and now my short-term memory is not very good, and I kind of struggle putting um, things together in like two or three, two, thinking ahead two or three steps at a time. So it's that kind of brain fog where I have a hard time concentrating and it's just like there's this cloud inside my head. This, it's like sludge inside my head all the time and it's hard to concentrate. So I'm trying to do some things to improve that. Like I'm talking to the VA about this local place uh, that can maybe help me out because another one of my health issues is severe restless legs and neuropathy. A lot of you've heard me talk about the fact that I have neuropathy, which is peripheral neuropathy and what that means is it's nerve damage that spreads to the ends of your fingers or your toes and in my case it's my toes that's why I don't wear shoes much my feet sting and burn like they're on fire and lately it's just gone over the top I can't hardly sleep I barely slept last night and I'm using tens units on it pain relieving creams taking calm and all these different things and it's not helping much so I'm asking the VA to send me to this um, other doctors off the, the VA campus where they say they can treat the neuropathy and the restless legs is often tied into the neuropathy so the restless legs is just terrible you can't hardly stay still it also makes it so I can't sleep and then I have severe bad back pain at night I mean worse than I've ever had and it's been going on for about seven months and it just doesn't let up at night it'll wake me up I got to get up do stretches walk around run my tens unit on it things like that and I was dealing with that but when you combine that with the restless legs and a neuropathy and everything else it just I'm not getting enough sleep I know that 
So that's just another thing that compounds, but if I can get them to do a referral to me out there to this place called Compass Medical Center, then I think we've got a chance of making some progress there. I'm also talking to my functional medicine doctor, trying to afford some treatments through him. The VA doesn't pay for any of that though, because it's not Western pharmaceuticals. You know how that goes. So anyway, I just wanted you to be aware so that if you wonder, where's that kilted guy? Why isn't he putting out regular videos? I can't say for sure how often I'll be able to put them out. I've got kind of a backlog of videos shot, but it's the editing time. It, it can take me anywhere from three to 10 to 12 hours to edit one video. It's a lot of work. So with all this moving that we're gonna be doing, I have a feeling you guys might see one every two weeks if I can keep up with that. So I'll do my best, but I just want, I know you guys will understand. I just wanted you to uh, know. So if you wonder what's going on, but anyway, we'll play that out by ear as it comes. We wanted to move one more time. Now we're going to be moving two. We may be moving into a smaller house in the meantime, but I'll try and keep you guys kind of updated somehow in a community tab or something. And in the meantime, I'll try and put out some little videos. Some of these may be the shorter form videos, I call them. And that's the videos that I can shoot in 20 minutes and maybe edit in three to four hours. And I may be able to get out a few longer form videos like this recent one about skim coating the shower. So thanks everybody for all your support, for stopping by. If you'd like to help us out on this channel, keep this thing going. We do have support options like just shopping on Amazon helps us. We put links down there. If you do any shopping on there, you click on any link and you go there and you buy diapers or you buy somebody recently bought a whole new set of appliances. I didn't even know you could buy that off Amazon. Well, they did. We get a little commission on that and it all helps. We also have a Patreon page and we now have a membership where you can join monthly for as little as I think it's two dollars a month and all of that helps so if you have any questions please ask them down below you know I'm really good about answering comments or replying to comments and answering questions and until the next video I will see you guys next time everybody take care and be safe